исполняя сталинский план реконструкции Москвы, московские большевики проделали колоссальную работу. Не по дням, а по часам, как в сказке, растут новые дома. А теперь посмотрите, товарищи, что сделают большевики с Москвой завтра. Борец Советов! Символ величия и мощи нашей Родины. After the Russian Revolution in 1917, the newly formed communist government created the country of the Soviet Union. And in December 1922, Sergei Kirov, a Soviet politician, introduced an idea to build Congress Palace in the country's capital. After the death of Vladimir Lenin in 1924 and the construction of the temporary Lenin's mausoleum resulted in a nationwide campaign to build Lenin memorials across the country. In 1925, Viktor Balikin, a graduate student of architecture, proposed to install Vladimir Lenin's memorial. on the top of communist international or com intern building which was an international organization that advocated world communism the construction site was decided to be on the site of the christ the savior cathedral just after 6 years in february 1931 the state declared the first contest for the palace of the soviet they distributed preliminary proposals to 15 architectural workshops to get the design of the building the contest ended in may 1931 with no winners The Palace of Soviets had a planned height of 495 meters, including the Antina Spire. If it was built, it would have become the world's tallest structure of its time. The size of this structure is almost equivalent to five football fields in comparison to the current tallest building, Burj Khalifa, which has a height of around 828 meters. The Palace of the Soviets would have been the 12th tallest building on earth in 2020. On the 2nd of June, a conference of party elders identified the site of the future palace. and condemned the Savior Cathedral. This was formally endorsed on July 16 by the Supreme Soviet, which was the legislative body of the country. On July 18, state commissioners started an inventory count of the cathedral properties. A small fraction of them were removed and stored, but the rest of the properties were perished or destroyed. The demolition of the cathedral began on August 18, and after four months on December 5, the structure was destroyed in two rounds of explosion. The aftermath of this explosion caused an enormous amount of debris. and it took more than a year to clear the wreck for the construction to start in the meantime a second public international contest was declared on july 18 1931 a total of 272 concepts were collected including 160 architectural works from which 136 were from soviet union and other from 24 foreign countries it was the italian architect armando brasini who expressed the idea of lenin on the top of skyscraper From 1931 to 1932 this project got enormous publicity and it was broadcasted internationally with news articles published all over the world In February 1932 the council didn't announce a clear winner but declared three leading drafts which include the design by Boris Ivan Ivan Zolotovsky and a British architect named Hector Hamilton The third contest started on March 1932 and invited 15 design teams and the fourth one began in July 1932 which invited only five On May 10 1933 Boris Ivanov's draft was declared the winner. A duo of neoclassicist architects named Vladimir Skuko and Vladimir Gelfrick were assigned to Ivanov's team. On August 7, Joseph Stalin wrote a memo to Kaganovich and two other people, which clearly named Ivanov's draft as the best and proposing the following changes, which were to drive the main tower upward to make it as tall as Eiffel Tower or even more taller, to crown the column with a brightly lit hammer and sickle, and place monuments to Vladimir Mulin, Karl Marx, and Friedrich Engels. in the front of the building Ayofen's original draft was crowned with a relatively small statue of the free proletarian In August 1932 this statue disappeared from the draft and Joseph Stalin personally intervened to correct the omission due to which a taller tower and Lenin statue appeared after the fourth contest In the process the total height of the palace was increased from 260 m to 415 m The main hall of the building had a capacity of 21000 seats and was 100 m high and 160 m in diameter 
There was also a little hall in the eastern wing that had a capacity of 6,000 seats. The statue structure was designed later with a height of 100 meter and weighed 6,000 tons. In 1934, the construction of Moscow Metro began and the station was named Palace of Soviets, which was originally named to serve the enormous Palace of Soviets. It was designed to be the largest and the grandest station of the first line. The foundation was completed in 1939. The builders drove a perimeter of 20 meter of steel piles and excavated the pit by demolishing and hauling out the old cathedral foundation. The new foundation was slightly concave concrete slab with concentric vertical rings that were intended to carry the main hall columns. By June 1941, the steel frame for the lower levels were erected, but then the project came to a stop. With the onset of World War II and the advent of Operation Barbarossa, which was the code name for the Axis invasion of the Soviet Union that started in June 1941. Because of this, the project was scrapped following the German invasion. Between 1941 to 1942, its steel frame was disassembled and used for Moscow's defense, fortification and railroad bridges. The empty foundation stood unused, filled with seepage water, but well guarded until 1958. After the war, I often produced another iteration of the original concept. This time incorporating the victory theme, where interior walls were to be decorated with the order of victory motifs. These drafts remained unused and the construction of old site was never resumed. The project was cancelled by Nikita Khrushchev in 1953, leaving the metro station Palace of Soviet as the only part of the complex that was actually built. But in 1957, the station was renamed to Kropotikinskaya. From 1958 to 1960, the palace foundation was cleared of rubble and converted into the open air Moscow pool. The circular pool had a diameter of 129.5 meter which at that time was the world's largest open-air swimming pool. In 1970s, the state ran an architectural contest for the new Vladimir Lenin Museum on a nearby site between the Pushkin Museum and the Kremlin. Some of the competitors proposed the building of the museum on the site of Moscow Pool, following the IOFENS concept, but this project was never materialized. In February 1990, the Russian Orthodox Church received permission from the Soviet government for the construction of the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour. So that is it for the video guys, hope you guys find it interesting and if you like such content then feel free to subscribe and catch you in the next video and let's drop that beat.